Hello everyone, we are back on Ruby Lane Live in the Dolly Cam. I am here with Joan of Joan and Lynette's Antique Dolls. We've interviewed Lynette several times, but we've never had the opportunity to interview Joan. So it's very exciting that we are here and we're going to get a full booth tour of their wonderful display and items for sale that they have at UFDC. How are you doing, Miss Joan? I'm wonderful. I'm enjoying um, being here, answering questions about the dolls, and buying some for myself, of course. One of the joys of being at UFDC in the sales room. Exactly. So if you guys are tuning in and you have a question on something, Joan is so happy to share her knowledge. She will answer all of your questions. Uh, both Joan and Lynette are so, so, so knowledgeable, and so we are so lucky to have them as shop owners and to get a wonderful uh, backstage pass to their booth. So. Joan, let's turn this camera around and we're going to look at some right. of your wonderful, wonderful items that are on display. Terrific. If you guys are just tuning in, everything that you see, of course, is for sale. And um, a lot of our viewers love to just see and wonder and awe. So, Joan and Lynette, you two have, uh, you two are a partnership on Ruby Lane, but yes. the dolls each belong to each of you. Yes. Uh, po let's point out some of uh, Joan's dolls. All right. Well, um, this unusual, around 1900 cloth pair of Jack Spratt and his wife are mine. Oh, it's wonderful. Isn't that, he could eat no fat, his wife could eat no lean? Yes. And so neat. the great original costumes and early styling of sleeves from that period before they discovered an easier way to do it. Um, I, I like those a lot and some of the unusual. Lynette has influenced me some with the cloth. So we have a little Bruckner Red Riding Hood and this strange, to me, Dolly Varden. Dolly Fart? Is that what Dolly it is? Oh, Varden. Oh, oh, Dolly Varden. Oh, it's wonderful. It was I a, love it. A, a character in Charles Dickens. But I also have this giant collection of uh, Liberty of London dolls. I love the store. And when I'm in London, I always go there. And then finding their dolls, which are so great with these characters from the royal family, like Victoria in mourning. We have um, the coronation set with the king and queen and Princess Elizabeth and Princess Anne before, they, before Elizabeth was reigning. So those are neat. Just wonderful. These Elsa Heck dolls, a German maker from the 30s, are an unusual find and all elaborately costumed in ethnic German costumes. Of course, we also have an early Lenchi. She's the Portuguese guitar player. She is just out of this world. Look at how wonderful yeah. her costume. Is this her original costume? Absolutely. She's oh all original, goodness. including her strange stockings and shoes. Look at, the, look at these stockings and <laughs> shoes. Oh my gosh. Could you just envision her like hitchhiking? Just like showing a little yes. bit of, showing a little bit showing of that? A little, oh. I should let her show a little leg. Yeah, have her, yeah when you display her, um, like, yes. look at those. Just phenomenal. Phenomenal, phenomenal. And the strange and who's this wonderful character? Lynette. Oh, he's great. <laughs> but he is a different one. You guys like whimsical and wonderful and, and the, yes, the, the unique, unique dolls that aren't classically considered beautiful. And then, of course, there are the classically beautiful. And then, of course, we have the classically like beautiful. This lovely little Schmidt. It's one of her. my favorites. And none of these have been on Ruby Lane yet. No, these are They'll not on coming. Ruby Lane. They were special for convention. Mm -hmm. uh, they will be coming if they do not sell here at the show. And if you guys are tuning in and you see something that you would like to purchase straight from them, just contact them through their shop and yes. they would be glad to sell it to you and pop it in the mail. Absolutely. And I mean, I love the portrait Jameaux. This one came from Germany. She's in her original costume. Wonderful. Which I think beautiful eyes, beautiful wig, and I love the Steiner Series A. This round face Steiner we got a little bit of a peek at yesterday when we did a quick walk through. She is just fabulous. Then in terms of my dolls, I also have this RD. I love the French bebés, and I mean she's a lovely example of another French maker. Here is a little belt and made for the French market, the German attempt to compete with the French. She's lovely. Then so great. We have an early Jameau fashion in original oh, costume. Look at this 
walking dress, visiting dress. It is just yes. so wonderful. Wonderful. It has a great bustle there on the back. Yes, and she has her little boots, of course. Let's and check her out. Oh, look at those boots. <laughs> and her undies. Like a good she has, fashion lady. She has all of the trimmings. Not and, one doll in this booth doesn't have all of the trimmings. And I always, if they were missing, make them earrings out of antique beads. Beautiful. So those are Those almost money. look like, are those real pearls? Yes. <laughs> Wonderful. Of course they are. Yes. She cannot have any faux pearls. Then in contrast, look at this we guy. have this strange little uh, googly guy, the Uncle Sam made by Elite. And him. I got him from Germany also. And he's a, such a character. He is such a character. We just love these googlies because looking at them just makes you happy. Yeah. That's what they do. Then more French. This is an all original Steiner. Um, she's marked as a Series A. She has a little bit of the later face, but she is all original. And a little just me. Let's get a little bit closer peek. We have so many of our viewers are fans of the Just Me. Uh, she's a nice painted fist version. I would say an original costume. It looks like a Vogue costume to me. I collected Vogue for a long time. And didn't Vogue do a Just Me later yeah. on, a little reissue? They did. This is a They did a reissue, doll. but also they did dress the early ones. Oh, they did? Okay. Some of them. Hmm. And this is a little in-sized Depeze Wonderful. It was only made for a few years, and she has an original Jameau chemise under her costume. What a tiny little size, which is yeah. to her benefit. She is so great. Lori Dove just said, hello, Miss uh, Lynette. We are, we are here with Joan, actually. Love your booth. Yeah. Fabulous examples. So, <laughs> yeah, we are here with the wonderful Joan of Joan Thank and Lynette's you. Antique Dolls on Ruby Lane. The less often seen Joan of Joan and Lynette. <laughs> Also influenced by Lynette, I have this strange character from the turn of the century who looks like he's dressed for Cape Cod or the Hamptons. He does. Oh, he's, you know who he does? He looks like a, um, uh, a the boyfriend to the Isana Walker. Doesn't yeah. he kind of? Yes, with the, the gentleman collar. Yes, yes. <laughs> he's ready. He's all dressed up with his big old shoes and his ribbon. Oh, he's great. <laughs> Wonderful cloth doll, and you usually don't see these uh, as boys, right? He's definitely right. a man. Yes, so he is kind of unusual. Um, I also happen to find, I guess I have two of them left, some WPA, some Michigan WPA dolls from different countries. We have this Scotsman with his Sparan, an elaborate tartan costume, and he's stamped on his back. Michigan State College, which of course Michigan State University later, but in the WPA period, it was a toy project. And what a wonderful price, $150 for a Michigan yeah. WPA. I, I How thought fabulous. so. Whenever I get good buys, I like to try to pass them on to our customers. This is just an odd ball. <laughs> one of a kind. Look at that. That's a fun doll. Very strange one. I, I also collect and have studied Russian dolls, and this is a very unusual Russian doll made of composition, a kind of composition, and all of this is hand embroidered. I'm just getting very close to you so people can hear you. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Um, is hand embroidered and unhemmed, which was kind of typical. Imagine the effort that went into and then that. And they didn't hem it. Yeah. What and an probably character face. Yeah, she's she's very unique, and she has the lapty woven slippers too of the Russians that are so mm -hmm. typical. Oh, great. But I, I've only had one other one with a similar face that I kept in my collection. Decided I had to part with this one. The wonderful thing about dolls, just one of the wonderful things, is that we learn about other time periods and other lives and other cultures and. Absolutely. Uh, it's just it's just so it's wonderful. It really really is. Never a dull moment in the doll world. It's live. <laughs> and then I have a few Oh, fashions. feel free to do your business. <laughs> I have some fashions. Let's see your fashions. We like to go live because the doll people um, they love imperfection. Things can go wrong. <laughs> 
Okay. Look at your fashions. Now those two are Joan. mine. Oh and my goodness. In original costumes. One is a barois and the other is uh, questionably probably made by Gautier or Jumeau. And this one actually has her box. She has her box. Aban Marsh, the Parisian oh, toy store. Oh my goodness. And clearly there's some melting of the silk, but a lot of her oh, costume is made. But we don't care. Look at that. It still is an impeccable condition for her original costume. Yes. Both of these costumes are absolutely superb. I am just in awe of this costume right here. I know, I love that one. It's one of my favorites. And then there's also, she sold to the lovely customer standing here, but we also have a German fashion that you can see the resemblance to the French oh, and the beautiful look at her. Dress and the bisque hands and the lovely costume, most likely original. So her new dad is standing right here next yes. door. You know what? We love her hat. Look at yes. that. She's wonderful. You usually don't see German fashions like this, especially um, with these wonderful costumes. And look at that wig. Looks like it's braided under there, elaborately braided human hair wig. Now, so that, that has been added, but it is appropriate. It's wonderful. <laughs> it's just beautiful. And she has little garnet earrings that I made. Just great. Well, if you need to give Michael his doll, we're still going to just keep touring your booth. Right. So you, we're, right we're live and we are working here while Joan is working. She's, <laughs> we're, oh, and we're just going to keep looking here. Well, congratulations, Mr. M. We're not going to say it out loud on your wonderful uh, doll that you have acquired. If you guys are just tuning in, we are here live in the booth of Joan and Lynette. We have been talking to Joan today. And it has just been such a such a treat. We're gonna um, give you another pan here of the wonderful dolls that they have for sale. And actually, this is mine too. Oh, An look at her, a mammy. Uh, yes, with her little baby. And then this crazy rattle clown. It's a rattle. Oh, that's so great. And this celluloid. Oh. I thought it belonged with the baby Stuart. Look at this molded nuts. bonnet, baby Stuart, <laughs> yes. just phenomenal. And there's a very funny wiener deliverer. Wiener deliverer, <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at that. If you've ever needed a wiener deliverer, <laughs> here he is. <laughs> well, this is just absolutely wonderful and superb. Look at these two china heads. Take yeah, your breath so away. Those are Lynette's specialty. These are very special dolls due to the hairstyles, the painting. Excellent she, examples. Just, just lovely. Lynette also loves topsy turvy dolls. And that's she does. One of hers. I think that one is in your guys' Ruby Lane shop. Yeah, it may be. And this wonderful show and hunt. Yes. So again, we are here live. We hope you guys could hear uh, what we were saying. It's been a lot of hustle and bustle. We are here with the a wonderful Joan, the elusive Joan of Joan and Lynette's <laughs> Antique Dolls. Thank you for your wonderful tour of your booth. Share their video, and if you guys see anything in their booth uh, that you would like to purchase or ask for additional um, information on, just contact them through their Ruby Lane store. Tell them what you saw. Send a screenshot. They're going to know. Yep. And they are here for the duration of the show, of course, and they will see you in booth 310 on public day if you guys are tuning in. If you're coming on Friday, uh, make a beeline to Joan and Lynette's Antique Dolls. Thank you so much, Joan. You're welcome. Thank you, Have Rachel. a wonderful rest of your show. You too.